and arrange. The next step then, following from this, is to progress to look at the skewness and kurtosis measure, so the measures of shape. The skewness we then see we need x minus x bar to the power of 3 multiplied by f summed. So we need a new column which is x minus x bar to the power of 3. So the first value we get is minus 3944. Note when we put something to the power of 3, minus signs do not disappear. Okay. When we work down, getting our x minus x bar to the power of 3. Now, again, the next step then is to multiply this by f. So we again create a new column, f times x minus x bar to the power of 3. And the first value will be multiplied by 9, our frequency the next value by 42, and so on down. So the first value here is minus 35499, then we get minus 8194, then 2518, 34359, and 42517. And we wish to sum these values, and we get a total of 35702. So we now have the top component of our skewness measure. Note the bottom component is our standard deviation to the power of 3. So to get skewness, we simply put the value we calculated of 3, 5, 7, 0, 2, over our standard deviation, which we calculate as 9.23, to the power of 3. And we get a skewness value of 45. Again, this is greater than 0, signifying that our data is positively skewed. So we've calculated our skewness measure, and the final thing we have to calculate is our kurtosis. So, again, looking at our formula for kurtosis, we need x minus x bar to the power of 4 multiplied by f and summed. So, we generate a new column, x minus x bar to the power of 4. And the first value we get is 6, 2, 3, 2, 0. And note our minus signs will disappear when we have it to the power of 4. Next value is 1, 1, 3, 1. 3, 1, 1. 4, 0, 6, 5, 8. And 3, 4, 2, 9, 7, 4. The next stage, then, is to multiply this by f. So we have f times x minus x bar to power 4. So our first value of 6, 2, 3, 2, 0 will be multiplied by 9, our frequency, giving us 5, 6, 0, 8, 8, 1. Our next column is multiplied by 42, giving us 4, 7, 5, 2, 9. Our next value is 10579. Then have 4, 8, 7, 9, 0, 4. And our final value is 1, 0, 2, 8, 9, 2, 3. Now, we have to sum these values to get the top value of our kurtosis formula. And the sum of these values equals 2, 1, 3, 5, 8, 1, 7. So we can now see we've calculated the top part of our kurtosis formula. The 
the bottom part is the standard deviation to the power of 4. So, we'll now calculate our kurtosis as the value we calculated of 213.5817 over our standard deviation, which is 9.23, to the power of 4, giving us a value of approximately 294. Again, this value is bigger than 3, signifying that the data is relatively peaked. So we've now also calculated our kurtosis. That concludes this tutorial, which shows how to calculate various measures of central tendency, dispersion, and shape. Other tutorials are available on Blackboard.